Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you lovely ladies. You know that this literally does not work. It is Wednesday evening. Tomorrow night we have week number three. All right. Week number three. Can you believe that shit? We are in week number three. It seems like football season literally takes forever to get here. And then all of a sudden, boom, it seems like it's gone that quick. So we're trying to make sure we bring you plenty of contact uh, context. Uh, contests, contacts. Well, yeah, no, it's bringing you some shit. Okay. On football. How about that? We're bringing you some shit on football. And of course it's Wednesday night. So we're going to go ahead and do our picks as we always do on Wednesday and find out if we are literally the village idiots or if we actually are doing pretty good. So of course, let me bring in my crew. We have the rain man who's made it rain all day, all day. Brother Roz, what's up? How you doing, Brother Roz? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, you know? You know? I'm trying to focus in on those games, get ready for uh, what should be a rather chalk week as far as making picks. Okay. H have you recovered from losing Tua? Oh, right at the gate. We didn't actually lose him. We just we just were temporarily sitting him until the broken ribs heal. Okay, okay. How, how long do you think he's going to be out? How long? I know he's out this week. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. They're saying one week, and I'm thinking broken ribs. That's like Drew Brees. Three. Didn't Drew have like fractured ribs, like eight of them or something last year? Yes. As a matter of fact, he had broken ribs. Uh, I think it was even on both sides. Yeah. I'm like, how's that dude doing that shit? <laughs> That's when you kind of say. Get, Cocaine get is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we've got my main man, D2, a.k.a. The Wolf. Stuart, doing, boss man? what's up, man? How you doing? I know you've been busy all day, all day long, because you're getting ready for North Texas Giving. North Texas Giving Day tomorrow, yes, sir. That's right. In September is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month, which falls in line with what Dream to Walk does, helping people with spinal cord injuries mm -hmm. offset the cost of therapy. And since 2019, we've been purchasing Mylon FES machines, uh, free motion electric stimulus machines to put in people's homes. So they don't have to spend a hundred bucks an hour at the facility and they can have that machine, which helps reverse atrophy, prevent atrophy, build up muscle range of motion, uh, circulation helps with a lot of different things. Uh, so spinal cord injury awareness month and North Texas giving day all coming together tomorrow. North Texas giving day is an all day, uh, online fundraiser. We'll have links up on Facebook, Twitter at dream, the number two mm -hmm. walk. Uh, you can go to our website, dream, the number two walk.org uh, all day, every day. It doesn't matter the size of the, do of the donation. Everything helps out. There is no but, but wait, 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 hold up though. Because I, I know if we put that quarter on it, doesn't that enable you guys to, you know, that quarter, that, that, that 25, the $25 donation. Doesn't that help you guys to get extra money possibly through drawings? Yes, sir. Every hour. If we have at least one unique donor donating $25 every hour on the hour, doesn't have to be the same person. If we get that $25 donation, we qualify for uh, cash prize drawings worth $1,000 to $2,000. So, wait, okay, you, you say unique. I, I'm, I'm truly unique. Thank God there's not a, another person out there like me. I don't know that the world could handle that. <laughs> but so if I do one, say, at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then I do one, say, at 12 o'clock, does that only count as one or Make do sure I get Tracy does the 12 just to be safe, but okay. It's an all day event that goes until 1 AM Eastern mm -hmm. and $25 donations. And any one hour span, we qualify for those drawings okay. that could hit thousand, two thousand dollars yeah, um, That would be great. Cause I know that would definitely help. 300, definitely help some people out. Nonprofits come together and we could use all the help we can get to, to make it a day for. All money. right. That's great. Okay, so we'll, I'll get the link and I'll put it in the description here. So here's the th question that you guys are. I, I know what you're wondering out there. Should I listen to these guys so I can try and make some money 
or just listen to him for entertainment. I say listen to us for entertainment purposes. But Brother Roz, can you let us know how we are doing so far this season with our picks? Are you sure you want to know? I want to know, man. I want to know. I, I stand behind what I say, man. I stand behind what I say. I said the Dallas Cowboys were going to beat the point spread two weeks in a row, and they damn sure have done it. I know that much is right. At least I'm right about the Cowboys. I don't give a rat's ass about the other teams. Apparently. So last week, <laughs> oh. Vegas was 50% on the week. Eight picks correct on okay. their spread. You were seven. Uh, you mean I was so you all... were one game behind them, 44% for the week. That ain't bad. The Wolf was two games behind them at 38% for the week. Okay. And how about, oh, but, okay, wait. How, how did the Rain Man do? Did he make it rain up in there? My picks of winners were 50%, but I made a dumb move and I picked against the spread. I only got four corrects for the whole week. You know, that's what I always go to the window and say, you know, I made a mistake. I meant to put it on <laughs> like, yeah, buddy, keep a stepping, keep a stepping, son. <laughs> now, just for the record, for the record, for the record, on the record, I put an S when I pick spray uh-huh. versus an X, like X-ray, for mm-hmm. when I pick a straight up. Right. So right. that's all right, though. We're doing this. We're doing this teamwork. I picked against the spread. I lost. But. For the year, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. We got two weeks. We got 32 games possible. Vegas has only picked 14 correct. Okay. So has Joe Boo. So I'm even with Vegas. Boom. And the Wolf beat him by one game. And you? Well, I'm two games behind. Okay. And, okay. So in, well, hold weeks, up. So in the grand scheme weeks. of things, does that sound like we know what we're doing? Oh, you're damn straight. If you play 50% or higher against Vegas, yeah. you are considered a high roller. I'm a high roller. Oh. Well, not yet, you're not. not okay. Yet. We're, we're still in the 40s. Okay. But if you can beat 50% against Vegas for the year, then you profit no matter how you're doing it. Okay. Because basically your high rollers are anywhere from 55 to 60%. All right. So we got something to work towards. Okay. All well, right. And we're, we're – we're right there. I well, mean, what had happened I'd listen was, to us if I was me. Okay. What had happened was the first two weeks had been weird. See, what had happened was. <laughs> well, yeah, I, but th- here's the thing, though. I always say don't get too excited by what you see the first month of football and don't get too upset, okay, because the real teams have yet to appear, Okay. You know, everybody right now is on that Cardinal bandwagon. And, oh, my God, the Cardinals. I've been here before where they thought the Cardinals were world beaters and they won the first four games and lost the next eight. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. We will see. I like where your head's at on that one. Um, When we get to that game, I'll mention something on them. Okay. Uh All right. So you ready to start this thing off? Go for it. All right. We got the Carolina Panthers. Uh, minus eight points um, at NRG Stadium on the road against the Houston Texans. Uh, Eastside, I think what they're saying is, yeah, you got a victory, but that might be the only one you get. They said your team is ass. When you are getting eight points at home, bro, bro, bro. So who are you taking? Davis Mills. Enough said. Carolina. Okay. Oh, I thought for a minute you were taking Davis Mills. <laughs> and I thought that I was smoking. Okay. Look, look, you first off, you said something a moment ago that is spot on. That is that the real teams haven't shown up yet, except for the Carolina Panthers. Mm-hmm. They're going to lose games throughout the year. But what we have seen is the real defense and the real offense, and they are real. And I've taken – I am picking the Panthers as well. Okay, so it's a sweep. We're all taking the Panthers on that one. Okay. The Washington football team getting seven and a half points 
against the Buffalo Bills, Washington's first road game this season. I can tell you right now, I'm going to take Buffalo on that one. I think uh, Washington's defense is way overrated. The fact that the Washington defense is actually giving up a half a point more than the Dallas Cowboys defense. Who would have thought that shit? And that the Dallas, okay, we're going about the day. We, we, we got plenty of time to talk about the Cowboys. I'm going to take Buffalo at home. I was going to point out as well that that line moved off of um, eight and a half. Okay. I see so Bet MGM as yeah, eight. I don't know why they're giving a point to Washington, but I think generally when it's moving just a point or a half point, mm-hmm. it's usually because the betting market itself is taking too heavy to one side. Okay. So too many people were putting points either on Washington or against. So they shifted the line to try and make up some of the money. That's what Vegas does. So it, it, it shifted down? Right. Uh, Washington was a eight and a half point underdog. Oh, so everybody's putting their money on Buffalo. So they're trying to make Washington more enticing. Right. Okay. They're trying to say, oh, Washington actually has a chance. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Stu? So I, I'm not buying that crap. I'm taking Buffalo. <laughs> what, what you got? Uh, I, I hate to say it because I hate the organization, the Washington football team, but I really like uh, – I'm not saying Heineke is a great quarterback, but I like how that team plays with Heineke. I like the way he gets that job done and fires the team up. I like the weapons. I like Gibson. I like McLaurin. Logan Thomas, all those guys. I like those guys a lot, but it's going to be another sweep. I'm going to go with Buffalo. Now, okay. y'all, y'all do understand that my picks are straight up, mm-hmm. right? Like I, I, I told you day one, I suck against the spread. I, I almost took WFT uh, versus spread, mm-hmm. but I just can't get Josh Allen to digs out of my head. So I'll take Buffalo versus spread. Okay. So we have now the Chicago Bears. And, and, and you know, of course, the Bears. Four picks against Grossman and two fumbles. What do you see about the Bears? Uh, we shut them down that way? No, we, you know, I mean, we, we, we just, uh, let's, we, the Bears are what we thought they were. Mm-hmm. What, what, they're what we thought they were. That's right. The Bears are what we thought they were. And they're going to bench, of course, um, Andy Dalton. Okay. So the rookie's going to get the start. Um, I'm seeing the line the between. Uh, seven to seven and a half for uh, the Bears against the Cleveland Browns playing in Cleveland. Are you taking the points? And I'm registering seven points is the current line. Okay. Uh, it's just FanDuel has it at seven and a half at the moment. Everybody else has it at seven. And I, I'm, I'm all on the Browns. There's no way. Justin Fields as it looks right now, is going to start his first NFL game. Mm-hmm. Against that Cleveland against Brown defense. Arguably the best defense in the AFC. Okay, I agree with you on that one. I, I got I got the doo-doo Browns on that one, too. And, uh-oh, he, he's, he's doing the finger action. Uh-huh. Yeah. He, he, you know he's, he's calling doing, the right? spirits he's, there. He's counting cards. He's counting cards going against Vegas. I think – are you taking the Bears? Well, it is seven points. They don't have Landry in Cleveland. Donovan's Pe- Donovan Peoples-Jones, Schwartz, maybe Odell comes back. I don't care. So, can that running game outpace a hyper-excited field with Robinson? I- I'm going to take the Bears for the spread. But Cleveland with the game. Okay. All right. I hear you. Well, you got You got to make a pick. You got to make a pick. Well, I pick versus spread, so give me the Bears. All right. All right. That's what the I wanted. The Bears. To I wanted okay. him to say he's taking the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Okay. We have the Indianapolis Colts <laughs> with Carson. Oh, I forgot. Carson. How you hurt two, ankle, two ankles in one play? Was that actually something they bet on in Vegas? That, that Carson Wentz would actually get two hurt ankles in one game? I mean, one play. How's that happen? No, they, there was actually there. I, I believe there was a player prop. Uh, I think it's every week. Is there something Carson Wentz can do that no other quarterback can do? Oh, they always said that there's things that Carson Wentz can do that nobody else can. And, and he did. He did. And he did. 
Okay. Two ankles. So we got the Nissan Stadium for the Tennessee Titans. They're playing at home. Uh, they are giving up five and a half points to Indianapolis on the road without Carson Wentz. Um, I think I'll take the Titans at home on that one. What's the spread? Five and a half. Tennessee has given up. Derek Henry can do that by himself all day. And I think Tannehill and Jones and A.J. Brown are going to get it together too. So It's not week five yet though, right? Because that's the week that Ross said he's going out, right? Yeah. We don't wish injury on anybody, but his premonition better be true. I had well, a I'll, okay. Ball. Philly 500 had a premonition that they, they can't, that they, he woke up. I mean, they were 21 to 19 behind the Cowboys and the Cowboys turned over the ball. They went down and won the game winning field goal. So that, that was his premonition, but mind you, he's also had a fever for a couple of days too. High fever. I can't wait to Monday night, but we're not there yet. Let's okay. talk about that game when we get to it. All right, I'm taking the Titans on there. I, yeah, they, everybody's taking the Titans. Okay. Let's be real. All right. I mean, you know, I, here it is. You know, I hate. Uh, you know, I I don't want this to happen with just on anybody, but I just want Indianapolis to implode with the Carson Wentz. The Carson Wentz just becomes the jinx. Okay. See, I, here's it, the problem. Here's the problem, though. What's that? As far as the fantasy world, they need Indianapolis to succeed, but. It doesn't matter if Indianapolis implodes. If Carson Wentz plays X amount of snaps, they get the pick, right? Look, so we, I, got, look, I mean, we need we need two games, and he's already injured. Two games after coming back, missing training camp because he's already been injured. You actually right, think he's going to play? How fast is he healing? I mean, oh my gosh, that's got to be some kind of. If you take the human element out of it and it's a movie we're all watching, is it not comical at some point that it doesn't matter what happens? Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving right along, we got the L.A. Chargers getting six and a half points going to Arrowhead against the Kansas City Chiefs. In my head. I need to point out before you make your pick. uh Uh-oh. This is the second highest over-under on the slate Uh at 54.5. So fifty four and a half points is the over under. But the Chargers only okay. Then, then it, the, I mean, sample size wise, Chargers only scored seventeen last week, and they scored twenty the week before. Are we looking but to say Kansas City's going? Yeah, they're looking. What they're looking at is divisional. Last year, the Chargers in his rookie year almost took out the Chiefs. Yeah, or did and, and Kansas City's they, defense is is a little suspect right now. They didn't. No, they didn't win that game. Yeah, Kansas City's one and one, right now. Right. Me and Ross. Yes. Are fans. they're both one and one right now. See the 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 contrarian in me. Actually, I'm going to pick the Chargers on this, and and the reason being is is we got the victory against the Chargers. Okay, and if the Chargers go in and beat Kansas City in Kansas City. Then you got to look differently at the Cowboys beating the Chargers. And also you have to look at it and say, well, maybe, you know, at one and two, maybe, maybe Kansas City isn't as good as we think. And maybe there's a chance down the road for the Cowboys. So now, you're taking the Chargers? I'm going to take the Chargers. I got to do something. Hey, I got to do something different, man. No, no, that's absolutely fine. And I did look at, I looked back and they, uh, Kansas Divisional City game. in overtime. Divisional game. Yeah, in a divisional game last year, Kansas City beat them in overtime. So that's where this that's where this uh over under is coming from, is they're mm-hmm. expecting Kansas City to not stop Herbert. Okay. And where are you but guys? But I'm going? still taking Kansas City. <clears throat> okay. Uh you're gonna have a lone wolf to yourself this week. I'll be going with Mark and Herbert. If it goes, to, if, if it goes to overtime. Yes, so good terms, me and Ross been following Herbert since last year. You saw it in your, with your own eyes versus the Cowboys. We won the game, but that kid's got the goods and he's got the weapons around him. And like you said, Kansas City's defense, it's not really all that right now. Mm-hmm. It's a, a big stage game with two of your biggest, youngest quarterback stars on the field. F, let the ball fly. Give me the Chargers to cover the spread. Oh, shit. 
I thought I was lone wolf. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, all right. Now, now this uh, is. I'm not really lone wolf because I went straight up. Okay. All right. I would have taken the damn points too. Now, now my my theory of don't be too excited or too upset by what you see the first month of football. You got to be New Orleans. I mean, because New Orleans going against uh, Green Bay looked like uh, punch their Super Bowl ticket, right? Then they end up playing the Panthers, and it's kind of like, ooh, Jekyll and Hyde all the way. So the question is, what New Orleans team are we going to have going to Gillette Stadium against Bill Belichick? I'm going to take Bill Belichick and uh, and give the three and a half. I mean, sorry, the three points. Three points. It's hard to play in New England. Do you want me to take it? I'll I'll go ahead and jump in. It's a three point spread in favor of the Patriots. Yeah. Give me famous Jameis to bounce back and cover the Bill Belichick. Wow. So here's the funny part. Three points is what you get for being at home. Yep. So on a neutral field, this this will be. This game is actually a pick 'em. They think anybody, it can go either way. My problem, the reason I'm taking Patriots is because they, uh, they'll they take away your best weapon. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter who Jameis throws to. There are no receivers. Ergo, the best weapon is Kamara. You take away Kamara, they're done. So I hope the Saints win, but I have no delusions that they actually will. We'll see. I like Sean Payton. I like Jameis. We all like Sean Payton. Been a long time since he had a Super Bowl. Okay. A long time since we had one, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have the toilet bowl game. Really? We have the battle of the basement bitches. The Atlanta Falcons going to MetLife, giving up three points. I'm sorry, getting three points against the New York Giants. Newsflash, newsflash. What's that? That line was six points. The Giants were minus six. Yes. The yes, fudge? they were. Okay. Or excuse me. Yeah. Minus six. It was minus six because I got a negative three to Atlanta. So they gave three points to Atlanta. They brought it down to a pick em. Okay. Which means everybody must have been putting money on Atlanta yeah, for them to bring me the six line points down. against the Giants. I'm taking that shit, man. That's going to be a tough one. Oh man, I can't pick the Giants. See, you know I'm what? taking straight up. I'm taking Atlanta. Yeah, I think they're going to handle take, business. They they've been. I'm, I'm going to take the three up. points with Atlanta myself. Giants are ass. <laughs> Hey, Stu, you got – what's on your shirt there? Uh, you're, you're just going to kill me right now, aren't you? Wait, wait, a little, yeah, a little bit further. Oh, that's a thumbs down New York. Yeah. That's what I was – that's what I thought was there. Yeah, well, see, perhaps uh, – I'm going to fall behind here this week, but I don't want to say it, but I'm going to give me the Giants to cover the spread. Give me Kenny Galladay. Go go take a shower. Go go take a shower now, man. Take a shower. Kenny Galladay, who was yelling at Jason Garrett on the sidelines last week to get an overcorrection and for the Giants to beat the Falcons, who the Eagles also beat. So I don't want to say it, but give me the chance to cover the spread. Okay. All right. We have the Bengals getting three against the beat up Pittsburgh Steelers at Heinz Field. So that's turned into a pick 'em, basically. And that moved off of a uh that moved off of a four point spread to a three and a half. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take Cincinnati in the points on that because right now Pittsburgh is hurting. They are hurting. I'm I'm taking Pittsburgh for the win, but I I get where you're at. 
Yeah. How bad is Ben dinged up? I've been in that chamber all day. I haven't really kept As it. it stands right now, they're expecting him to play, but nobody's saying that he will. Deontay Johnson, mm-hmm. on the other hand, said to Mike Tomlin came out and said he looks better, but he or he looks good, but he doesn't look great. Okay. I don't know what the hell that means, but there's an expectation Deontay might not play. What's the spread? Cincinnati getting three going into Heinz Field. Give me Cincinnati. Okay. I like I like Pittsburgh, but when you might have Haskins who who is allegedly improving, uh throwing to Claypool without Deontay Johnson. Yeah, go ahead and give me Cincinnati. All right. Cardinals, Jaguars. Cardinals going to Heinz Field. Um, seven and a half points, uh, minus seven and a half points. I'll, I'll, I'll take that minus seven and a half points because Jacksonville is just bad. The Cowboys. And I will, them. I will also point out that this is one of the hires with 52 over under. Okay. So 52 total points for the game puts the Cardinals needing about 28 29 points to cover the spread. Yeah, the, the, they'll get about 48 against the Jets. Well, that's why I'm picking the Cardinals as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even, I have nothing to add. Just give me the Cardinals. The <laughs> Jets are getting 10 points. J E T Jets, Jets, Jets. The one word to describe the Jets. Ass. Um, I wouldn't even take 10 points for those mother humpers. Actually, 10 to 10 and a half points uh, going to play the Denver Broncos. Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater looked good. I'd trade him straight up for Daniel Jones. I'm going to take Denver on that. What the fuck? I'm going to go crazy. You're going to take the points, ain't you, Roz? I can, I can, I can see those gears grinding now. Well, Roz is picking straight up tonight, and I'm taking the Broncos straight up. But I wouldn't pick them against the spread either. All right. I mean, okay. I wouldn't pick against that. I, I would take Denver with the spread or straight <laughs> up. I don't care. Okay. We've seen what the Jets are, and they're not going to get but the, the Jets are what we thought they were. Ass. But the Jets yeah, are. Everybody said Miami was going to be at the bottom of the division. Damn it. We still have the Jets. Okay. All right. Uh, Stu? I, I, I want to love the lovable Jets, but I can't. What's the spread there again? Uh, Jets get 10 points. 10 or 10 and a half. Give me the Broncos. Give me the Broncos. Okay. We you weren't ha- going to double down on New York. All right. No, I, I've, I've stepped out to the ledge a couple times tonight. I'm not going to do it with the Jets. I like some of their young talent, but they're, <laughs> they're not All right, there yet. So now we have the heartbreak game for Ross. The Miami Dolphins against the L.A. Raiders in that new stadium. That's going to be a good game. It's going to be Miami plus four. Two is out. Are you asking me? What you going to do, brother? What you going to do? The light's off. Nobody's home. My Dolphins helmet, the light's off, you know. Nobody's home. No faith in Jacoby. It has nothing to do with faith. It has to do with somebody's going to win the game, and I know who's not. Yeah, and I'm not. Gonna but Jacoby was drafted that. higher than Dak Prescott. Huh? I bet you Rasheed would want Jacoby. Jacoby Brissett was drafted Dak before Dak Prescott. Doesn't that make him a great quarterback? If you're not picked in the top ten, then your draft capital means nothing for a quarterback. <laughs> historically, historically. Okay, unless you're Tom Brady or Dak Prescott, right? Or Tony Romo. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to take the Raiders at home minus the four. I hate to say that I believe in Derek Carr, but, you know, and John Gruden, but it's the Miami Dolphins without Tua on the road. Okay. We got Tampa Bay giving up one and a half points to the Rams to play. Go ahead. Go ahead and give me the. I'm sorry. Just assumed that we were on the same page, which is fine. Because great minds think alike. Go ahead and move on. Give me the Raiders. Tampa Bay minus a point and a half going to L.A. to Los Angeles against the Rams. 55 over under. Highest points of the week. And what Tom is doing at his age is ridiculous right now. 
Yes, that is why I'm taking the Rams. I'm going to take take Tampa Bay. I don't think that made sense, did it? No, it didn't. It really didn't. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to take Tampa Bay. Hard to be get bet, but every time I bet against Tom Brady, and I'm 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 always wrong. You got to be right fifty percent of the time, right? <laughs> yup. <laughs> Fucker always wins. What's the spread on that? Uh, Tampa Bay minus a point and a half. Just a point and a half. So pick them. No, that means they're favored because they're playing on the road. Yeah. Give me the Rams. Give me the Rams. Right. Ooh, look at you. Hey, Rams we in this you know, wolf. Okay. Go. Woods, even All right. we, we got we got the Seattle Seahawks going to Minnesota, that big Viking ship up north, and they're giving up a point and a half for Seattle. Um, I'm going to take Seattle on that. Tied for the 55-point highest score over under of the week. Okay. So there were two games with 55. The, this is the other one. You're taking Seattle even after they lost to Tennessee. Yes, I am, because we're talking okay. about Minnesota. I'm taking Minnesota. Okay. All right, so we're going to be mixing this shit up here. We're going to have a true winner and loser this week. Stu, you got to break the tie, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Now, mind you, I'm picking Minnesota straight up. Okay. Oh, the point spread is... You got minus what? One and a half. One, so I'm not even really worried about that. (sighs) Give me Minnesota. You like that? Okay. Wow, Kirk Cousins. We on board. I know. I'm taking all sorts of showers when we get done with the show tonight. Okay, (laughs) so we get up to the Green Bay Packers was return of the Mac with Aaron freaking Rodgers against San Francisco 49ers at Levi stadium. Uh, the Packers are getting three points. Well, I'm sorry. Three and a half points. Shareholder. <clears throat> oh, the pack go pack. Go. The pack is back. Yeah. Okay. Seems like seems like game one was kind of like the longest yard when the, the offensive lineman just let everybody hit Adam Sandler in the backfield. Or if you want to go further back, uh, give me the pack. They get three, two. Give, give me the pack. Aaron Rodgers in San Francisco, who is mad that he didn't go to. Oh, it's going to be dirty. Um, I say go pack to hell. <laughs> um, but I California was, boy going into San Fran, and you're going go to go. No, no, I'm just saying. I, I just always want to say go to hell, Green Bay. But I'm going to take the three and a half points. Yeah. Oh, oh, California okay. boy that wanted. And, so all of us are going against Vegas. Yes, that's how you beat them. Right. Right I like that. Okay, and now that's it, right? That's no, all the games. We got the ah. Eagles and the Cowboys. Um, I'm seeing actually on DraftKings that it's down to three and a half points as well as FanDuel. So that tells me that everybody must be putting their money on the Cowboys. Well, Sportsbook still had the actual Vegas Sportsbook still had them at four, but uh, a half point move could happen all the way up to game time. Okay. Now, I will tell you this, some new information that I received today. 75% 75% of the time, Dallas is letting people convert. 71% of the time, Philly is. Convert for a new first down. Now, the difference to me there is you have a 75, 71 to 75% chance. It's like 4%, right? Yeah. Well, if, if Dallas is running, let me look at it. If Dallas is running 68 plays a game, and Philly's only running 61. That tells me Philly, Philly 500 here. I might as well just take that shirt down because 
Joe Boo going to run and convert all day. They got uh, more plays. They got the same opportunity to convert, and they got the better running back. Got the better quarterback. Okay. I mean, I know that was a lot, but the play speed right now, Dallas is one of the highest. The play give-ups, Philly is right there with Dallas. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so you're, you're taking Dallas? I am. I am. I am taking Joe Boo. Okay. Stuart? I put my faith in you, Joe Boo. Stuart, what, what are you doing, Stuart, with this one? I defend you, Joe Boo. I don't really have to defend my Joe Boo. I like Jalen Hurts, so I'm not going to hate on him, but he's in for a hurting. Mm. At the Philly on Monday night, Dak, not Lamar Jackson, but Dak on his MVP tour this year, Monday night football against division rival Philadelphia Eagles. Coop's playing. Coop's not out. Yeah, we got to toast them. I do like okay. Hurts and their offensive weapons in Smith and Rager and the two tight ends. But, oh, wait a minute. Hurts is out. So, yeah, it's going to be fun whooping the ass. Well, not only fans not only not only Hurts, Brandon Brooks, their, their all-pro guard, actually has the pec muscle injury. Uh, Brandon Grimes has been put on injured reserve as well. Uh, it's Monday night going to Dallas, okay, road game. Not that the Cowboys have a big <clears throat> home field advantage because everybody wants to go there because <clears throat> it's the Palace in Dallas. But Dak Prescott is 19-6 and six, uh, against the NFC East. Um, we do get Randy Gregory back, although uh, Keanu O'Neill is on the COVID list, not that he's tested positive, but because he's had an exposure. Um Bradley and I, no, 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 I'm sorry, not Bradley and I, um, damn, one of our rotational tackles, uh, high ankle sprain, who am I thinking of, um, that, that's going to hurt us again as well because, uh, we're kind of low on the defensive line right now, uh, Dorrance Armstrong, sorry, Armstrong. yeah, Dorrance Armstrong, that's who it is. Um, is uh, he's nicked up. He's got a high ankle sprain. He may miss the next three games. So we've got that situation going on. Um, of course, we've got Eagle fans that are going crazy, and they're coming out the woodwork. Uh, YouTube channels I've never heard of or are coming after me. we got Philly 500 with a fever saying that they're going to win, and um, I picked the Cowboys. Randy Gregory back, Micah Parsons. Looking like he can do it all on the other side. Mm-hmm. Hurt's got nowhere to go there. If the big boys in the middle can clog it up a little bit, who do you think traces? LVE? Hurt's ain't going to run around. Uh, I was on – you did that show yesterday, uh, Bird Game. Yeah. They actually think that Darius Slay – nice group of guys. I, I hopped over to his channel for a little bit, a little crowd in there, talked with them for a little bit. They think big play Slay – can lock up C.D. Lamb, and I don't think I left harder in the last week than I did yesterday while I was in that chat just reading the feed. It's crazy. It's going to be so fun watching C.D. go off on those boys. Okay. All right. And uh, before we get out of here, uh, I, do, I, do I really want to know how fantasy football is going right now? Not yeah, well, you t- see what happened was. Uh-oh. First two weeks have been weird. Long season. We'll be all right. Okay. That means you didn't win. Yeah, I didn't win. I, we, we didn't do good. You know, Dak, of course, we went to the running game. Dak didn't have great numbers, and boom. Yeah. Fancy football, I'll take the real win over Dak winning for us in a couple of leagues. That's fine. He's going to help us win by the end of the season. That's even better. Okay. I'm going to see if I can trade Kenny Gainwell to get Jalen Hurts. And you're fired. I think that's all we got to talk about. Bye, Corey. No more NFC East on Joe Boo's months. There you go. Let's find a way. All right. Well, we'll have more on that on Saturday. We'll be talking about that. So, everybody, make sure you definitely help out Texas Giving Day 
and definitely help out Dream to Walk. And we're going to make sure that we do a couple of them. I'm going to do one. We'll make sure Tracy does one. I'm going to make sure Michelle does one. I'm going to get every, everybody that I know to go ahead and try and do one. And uh, if you can help out, definitely help out. And we'll see what we do against Vegas. Uh, my man, Roz, tell everybody where to find you on Tiki Talk. Make sure you hit up the JSR Fantasy on the TikTok. Catch everything uh, as we get it out. We uh, have our first tutorial up at the JSR Fantasy YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. In what is fantasy football? We're going to try and make these tutorial pieces 15 minutes or less. So right. keep them short, keep them sweet. That way, if you're looking for something specific, you just go watch that roll through it um once Stu has uh once his schedule opens up a little bit more then we're going to get some real fantasy shows up there uh, i'm going to keep working on the tutorials for now just so you know we have that playlist kind of filled out yeah cool beans all right with that being said i guess it's time to get ready to roll up out of here and um of course you know how we <laughs> How we oh, roll. big run! Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Shit. Oh, he fumbled. 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 Oh,